This court martial is now in session. The honorably sexy Zap Brannigan residing. Bring in the accused. Double yes. Guilty. I will now carry out the sentence. Kiff, my gun. Wait! He pled not guilty. The professor said he was taking a brief nap, so we only have time for six movies. Shh! Those words are forbidden! What words? Star Trek? Shh! Shut your gills! The court is intrigued. Perhaps we could hear more about these forbidden words. By the 23rd century, Star Trek fandom had evolved from a loose association of nerds with skin problems into a full-blown religion. And so the Trekkies were executed in the manner most befitting virgins. Ooh. He's dead, Jim. Ah! He's dead, Jim. Thus, Star Trek was forever scoured from human memory. Another classic science fiction show canceled before its time. She's all yours, buddy. I had only met the defendant Fry once, but I knew he was up to no good. It's my fellow cast members. 300 years ago, they left Earth behind. Your co-stars may be gone, but we can still get those episode tapes back for the whole world to see. Come on! Oh! Yes! Front row. It taught me so much, like how you should accept people, whether they be black, white, Klingon, or even female. It's all stuff from that forbidden show. Michelle, George, Walter. How'd you all end up here? We were on our way to Welshie's cousin's house to stay in the guest room when our ship was pulled down to this planet and crashed, just like yours. We love it here. Everything is provided for us, and we never age. Check out these abs. Yowza! You, you doubt my, my power? power? I do. <laughs> Welshie! Different from, from the, the one, one you, you saw, saw earlier. earlier. Hey, a body. Buff? I am Melvar, seer of the tapes, knower of the episodes. Tremble before my encyclopedic knowledge of Star Trek. Cool, a Star Trek convention. Uh, uh Melvar, can you give us some idea of how long this is going to last? Until, Until time, time stops. stops. <laughs> um, uh, sign it to Melvar. Melvar has three L's. I think I've done enough conventions to know how to spell Melvar. Who did the Captain Maroon on SETI Alpha 5? Con! Uh, Con? Correct. My, My button, button has broken. Trivia yeah. contest, contest over! over. Take, Take your, your scripts! Script. We have limited rehearsal time. We'll go wait in the ship. Okay. okay. Not till I get my 600 quat loose. <laughs> If we can reroute engine power through the primary weapons and reconfigure them to Melvar's frequency, that should overload his electroquantum structure. Look, Captain. Melvar will help us. Okay, I'm done recafoobling the energy motron or whatever. Fire! You wrote it. To determine who is more worthy of my fanatical devotion, I shall pit you against each other in armed combat. To the death! This will be your standard battle to the death. The only weapons, whatever you can find. There. We can make these into spears. And we can tie these caterpillars together to make bowstrings for bows and arrows. And we can use this machine gun to shoot them. Yeah! What if I distract them with my famous fan dance? Oh, that's good, 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 good. And then, George, you give them a karate chop. I find that offensive. Well, here goes nothing. Is that all you got? hi Oh! Let's see if this actually works. My face! Oh, my face, too! Can't we resolve our differences some other way?
Melbar, dinner time! Uh, but Mom, I'm playing with my collectibles! Bender, wait! This is our chance to escape before Melvar comes back. But we all need to work together. Ironic, because our engines work, but our life support systems don't. Hey, if your engines work... And your life support systems work... We're too heavy! You guys need to lose some weight, fast! We did it! Oh, we did it! <laughs> You're under arrest. Prepare to be boarded. One more hit and we're done for! Let's take him out with us. Do you guys have a self-destruct code, like destruct sequence 1A, 2B, 3 Melvar, you can't let a TV show be your whole life. You can do anything you want. Look at Walter Koenig. After Star Trek, he became an actor. I thank you, Fry. You know, you and I are of a kind. In a different reality, I could have called you friend. Truly? It was a paradise. And all you had to put up with was one really annoying Star Trek fan. Let's get the hell out of here. A bald eagle. It is. Ow, ow. This means war. For once, we're finally going to catch that mouse. Ha <laughs> ha, stupid eagle! It wasn't a mouse we were after, it was you! Drag him up! <laughs> Let's take the eagle to Shelbyville Animal Rescue, where you took that injured hummingbird you found on the front lawn! Um. Squawky? Perfect! Just like when we let you name Maggie. <laughs> Bye! We love you! <gasps> Give me my baseball bat. Hello, I'm Elon Musk. Die! What the? Dad, no! He changed the way Hollywood drives! And now he's landed in our yard. On my son's bike and on our mailman's leg. What does bring me to Springfield? Well, to start with, I'm an idea man. It's my raison d'etre. Mmm, raison d'etre. If you're interested, you could come to the nuclear plant where I work tomorrow. I am, and I will. Great, and if anyone asks where I am, just cover for me. Talk to anyone, unless they provide the mental stimulation I seek. Ditto. <laughs> Hi. No ideas. <gasps> That's sad. That's even worse. <gasps> oh man, I wish those were white meatballs. Chocolate rain! Taze, bro, chocolate rain. Use electroplating to remove metal ions from rainwater, making it suitable for drinking. What about the chocolate? We'll make the device a soothing chocolate color. Brilliant. <laughs> I gotcha! You're fun! Well done! <laughs> Why don't we have fun like that, Lou? Ha, ha, ha. Ah. Suggestion for the suggestion box? Can anyone make a suggestion? Be my guest, but I seriously doubt the old man ever reads them. Installing an MHD generator would allow the plant to operate at a higher temperature without the tyranny of moving parts. The man who's revolutionized the car industry. Henry Ford, good to see you. As healthy and vibrant as Detroit itself. No, sir. This is Elon Musk. Young man, I look at you and I see myself. How much would you charge to work for me? I don't care about the money. What do you propose? Well, you'll need to increase the capacity of your plant. You cover the costs, you get 100% of the profits. Careful, Elon. He's not as kindly as he appears. So, what kind of lunch do you pack? Wow. Between your genius and my nothing, we make a great team. Does that drone do date nights with the wife? Electrifying the school to replace the old power source. Willie pushing a wheel. And my passion project, the Glavenator. For once in my life, something's going my way. I'm not so sure. Oh, another visit from Mr. Worrywart. 
I don't trust Musk. Musk's ideas sound great. Too great. We're meant for wretched lives. We should pass on this. And before you reply, remember, I've never let you down. You know what I'm going to say, right? Can you give me a 10 second head start? Of course. One, two, three. <laughs> Not on my carpet. Car, go park at work so people think I'm there. Car, wait, Grandpa. Thank you. You'll never guess Elon Musk's master password. Musk rules with a Z. Password verified. Manual control enabled. <laughs> Thank you, Monty. At our current rate... Yes? Assuming a linear growth model... Of course. We are losing roughly $50 million a quarter. There are no trapdoors on this podium, Bones. You just started the PowerPoint presentation. Your so-called savior isn't interested in saving anything but the world. Bah! Burns' layoffs have thrown the city into a new depression. My final invention. A pill that removes all grief. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Smithers, the Hellens feel terrible for what they did, and good news, one pooped out your ear. We'll dip it in iodine and it's just like new. I'll give you a little extra morphine, friend. Oh, right, that's a trap door. It's Elon. I don't care how much he likes me, I don't want to be friends with him anymore. None of his pie-in-the-sky ideas ever work out. Sky pies are lie pies. I don't want to be with you anymore. Wow, you're good at that. It's got me out of a lot of gym memberships. Because a man can't see or hold his hand steady doesn't make him any less of a marksman. <laughs> Sweet Colombian exposition. Musk lives. But uh, three of your hitmen don't. Recoil was pretty bad. This town isn't ready for you. And neither am I. It's okay. I'll be fine. Goodbye, Elon. Our town will never forgive you. Thanks for the real working lightsabers. Hi, Karumba. Guess humanity wants its change one birdhouse at a time. I've left Springfield forever, but there are some things I will definitely miss. The little dolphin is also wearing a helmet.